Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Autumn and I am here with another video. So, it's February. We all know what that means. Fall in love, meet the bay. you know. That's not how this worked out for me though. <laughs> I did a social experiment that I, I mean it's not like a real experiment, but I did an experiment that I wanted to try out. And the reason I got this experiment going on in my brain is because my best friend did this last year. She basically put it out there that she didn't want to be alone for Valentine's Day and you know, just wanted to go on a date. No attachments, no commitments, just a date, that's it. So yeah, I'm here to talk about my failed experience and what I got out of it. So if you're into this type of video, then stick around. Don't forget to hit the like button and comment down below. Also, subscribe, cause um, <laughs> we made it to 50 subs. I mean, I know that's small for some people, but it's a really big deal to me. So yeah, let's get into the video. This social experiment was more of just me playing around and trying to figure out what I could get from guys, you know, what what's going to make them bite, because clearly it's not a relationship, let me just, you know, <laughs> spoiler alert, most men don't want a relationship right now, especially in my age bracket, like the word relationship makes men like freak out and I just don't get it. This, um project or experiment that I tried was I used dating apps like Tinder, uh, Bumble, Hinge, and Facebook dating to see if I could get a guy that was gonna be okay with no stipulations, no, you know, strings, just a date and that's it. Um, I think that I also, I'll put up on the screen like what I put in my bio but I put up that I just wanted like chocolates or something. I didn't want like fancy gifts. And at first I was thinking like maybe we should go to dinner, but with, you know, Miss Rona, um, that was a little risque. So I decided that I was gonna do that. I also did not discriminate. I was swiping right on Asian men, white men, black men, Hispanic men, you think of the race I was swiping right. I only did it for about, let's say, give or take a few weeks. The end of, the mid to end January until like this week recently. Um, where I think it went wrong is the, there's a lot of factors. I am, let me disclaimer, I am not a scholar. I am not a like social justice guru, a commentary channel. I don't do video essays. I will link some people below or above in the cards that I think talk about great like colorism, um, colorism episodes and stuff like that. But I think what had me at a disadvantage was my race and my physical features. So I understand far too well that I do not meet America's standard of beauty. And what that means is like, you know, Caucasian. I'm definitely not that. My nose is also shaped kind of weird. I don't have like a typical black nose. I'm using air quotes because most of this stuff, like if you live in America, you know. I should not have to explain this to you guys. Y'all know what's up. Um, but yeah, so I figured that my skin color and then the region that I live in was playing a big factor. I live in the north right now and I know that there's a lot more, there's a lot more for people to choose from up here when it comes to females because there's a lot more people up here than I would consider there are in the south. I think it went wrong because I think that lots of men are intimidated by black women. Instead of getting to know Autumn for Autumn, 
people see Autumn is black and thus she's probably going to act like XYZ. Does that make sense? So I think that people didn't really give it a chance. Now, now don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I do understand that some people, black women are not their forte. I'm not gonna put it past you. So let's start from the beginning. Let's start over. So. The first guy that I talked to was an African American guy. He was 28 and he lived alone, had a dog. We messaged for about three days. Um, he was cool until he asked me, so what are you? I was like, uh, I'm black. I'm, is that a trick question? Am I supposed to, what am I supposed to say? Uh, I'm black, um, descendant of an African slave. I, I don't know, what am I supposed to say? He proceeded to explain to me that I have features of an Ethiopian girl. And I don't know what that means, so I looked it up and I understand that I might have an Ethiopian-ish type looking nose, but I was a little like, oh, why can't black be enough for you? Why I gotta be extra stuff? So we didn't talk that long. Conversation was pretty dull. Um, I talked to another guy, uh, same week. His name was Chris. I remember because I was like, oh, this is different. He was Indian, very attractive, very attractive. Tall, liked to go, you know, climbing rocks and all that adventurous nature stuff. And um, we talked for about maybe a week. We messaged back and forth for about a week. And he was like, oh yeah, I have my, you know, shot, you know, for Miss Rona. And I said, uh, that's nice, okay. He was like, so yeah, when we hang out, you can kiss me. Excuse me? I just went on one date. That's all I want. Just one date. Um, yeah, he unmatched with me. It's fine. I met a few more people, some Asian men, some white men. Um, I matched with a lot of people, but nobody messaged me first. And that was one of my rules was you had to message me first. I always have that question of whether or not a man is interested in black women or not whenever I try to, you know, shoot my shot, which is not often because I always fail. I often have to ask myself, does this person even like black women? And that led me to think like, maybe this isn't the experiment for you. <laughs> because I just wanted to talk about my experience and what I felt and everything and where my mental state went with this. Um, I will not do something like this again. This was fun to see, but Closer towards the end of this week, I noticed that I was getting into a very negative mindset, negative space. And so in conclusion, my thoughts about doing an experiment like this is that like, black girls, we're awesome. Don't let anybody else tell you that you are not awesome. We are imitated in the media. People wanna be us. The stuff that we are born with, people are paying for. Girl, you are amazing. But the world does not see us like that. And I think that it's, almost oblivious of us to act like we don't care as if we don't all seek validation at some point in our life when you are called the ugly duckling for so long it is comforting to be called the swan once in a while so with that understanding that social media and society has like conformed this like duo to like take you out <laughs> is a real that is real they are sisters and they hate on everybody and they work in tandem with the system that is made against like people of color people who are less beautiful than you know your conventional everyday white girl i also realized from this that it's okay to get annoyed with being single. Um, I didn't want to turn this into a tips video, but just because I want to be 
in a relationship does not mean that I am not happy being single. Every time I say, oh, I want a boyfriend, oh, just work on yourself, you know, D glow up, do what you do. You should always be glowing up. You should always be working on yourself. That is not a factor in not wanting to be alone. Nobody wants to be alone. So this experiment proved to me that I can't handle the fact that because I'm not considered desirable to some people in this country, in this world, society that we live in, that I can easily fall into those traps of feeling like alienated. You know, no one wants you. So, you know, you, you have the skin color you have people are gonna think that you're that you're ghetto or that you're you know unapproachable and as that might be true I know that there is like timing that deals with this so this experiment was fun and I would love love to get y'all on with my best friend because she did this experiment and she had a lot of success with it. I'm very happy for her. And honestly, if I had some success, I would I would have been showing y'all my little Valentine's Day boo for the minute, but it's fine. I just know that there's a lot of things that play against me when it comes to dating. You know, my race, my my background my heritage my weight you know <laughs> so this video was kind of short i am thankful that you guys you know tuned in thank you guys so much for watching my videos i know i said it earlier in the video i got 50 subscribers i know that it's not big but you have to really celebrate your small wins thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked this video, if you want to continue the conversation in the comments, because, I mean, don't bring none of y'all racist stuff. I've been seeing what y'all been doing. I tried all the dating sites so that you don't have to, especially black girls. You can try it. Let me stop. Let me stop playing. Try the dating sites. You might get lucky. You might find your prince, you know. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching and if you guys have anything you'd like to talk about in the comments just go ahead and go down there and comment away i will reply all right have a great day oh and happy valentine's day people